this podcast is over a play called The Crucible. Today we will be talking about what we think are normal events, but in the book, people are being accused of witchcraft because of these activities. Back at this time in Salem, people were being accused of witchcraft for simple things like reading in a corner and plowing on Sundays. And for other common activities, we will be going into depth today to see whether these events should or should not be used against these people as evidence of witchcraft. Plowing on Sundays is common even to this day, right? Yeah, I would say that many farmers nowadays do what they have to do to get their work done. It just depends on some farmers' morals. John Proctor also doesn't like Reverend Hale. Proctor says, it does, sir, it does, and it tells me that a minister may pray to God without he having golden candlesticks upon the altar. In the book, John also says he cannot stand that all Hale preaches about is money and getting damned to hell. So if you were in John's shoes and didn't agree with how the preacher is preaching, would you want to go listen to this every Sunday? I see where John is coming from and how his plan on Sundays instead of going to church should be dismissed as evidence in my opinion. Another piece of evidence used against them is that Mrs. Putnam keeps having miscarriages and accuses Rebecca Nurse of using witchcraft to kill all of her babies. Here is a quote taken from the Crucible said by Miss Putnam. Reverend Paris, I have laid seven babies unbaptized in the earth. Believe me, sir, you never saw more hardy babies born, and yet each would wither in my arms the very night of their birth. Anne Putnam is a jealous woman that holds grudges against many of the people in Salem. She sees how everyone is getting accused of witchcraft and uses this as her opportunity to blame people she disliked in the situation, Rebecca Nurse. I can see this being true because Rebecca Nurse is a mother of 11 children and has 26 grandchildren. Rebecca Nurse had what Ann Putnam always wanted, and because of that it makes sense that a grudge holding Ann Putnam would accuse the one she's most jealous of, Rebecca Nurse, of using witchcraft to kill seven of her eight children. So with the information we have about Rebecca Nurse and Ann Putnam, we can conclude that this piece of evidence should also be thrown out because we are to believe that the accusations Ann Putnam made are false. Welcome back. So right now, we are halfway through the podcast and are two for two on discrediting the so-called evidence of witchcraft in Salem. Have you ever done something you knew you weren't supposed to do and blamed someone else the first chance you got? Yeah, as a kid, I would do this all the time. In this time period in Salem, there was a lazy farmer who was named Walcott who would never feed his pigs, and then he, when he caught wind of witchcraft, he jumped on his chance to blame Martha Corey for the death of his pigs. Walcott hears Giles Corey say that his wife, Martha Corey, was reading strange books and that he couldn't pray while she read them, and he took that opportunity to accuse her of witchcraft in revenge for all of the pigs he buys from her dying. That sounds like a spiteful thing to do, but I guess it would be a good way to cover up your own mistakes. So after hearing this, I highly doubt that Miss Giles was actually performing witchcraft. In today's time, reading weird books is a normal thing. The town of Salem are taking false accusations too harshly and causing innocent people to get blamed for witchcraft. Well, after going over these three accusations, so far, I agree, these people actually going to jail over these crazy accusations doesn't make much sense to me. Now that we have won over how crazy these accusations are, we do have to look at the flip side of things. So accusation number one was that John Proctor plowed on Sundays instead of going to church. I do see how working instead of going to church on Sunday did raise some eyebrows in the Salem community. Yeah, I can see that people's morals being way different than they are now. Accusation number two was that Ann Putnam's miscarriages were caused by Rebecca Nurse. Knowing Ann Putnam's background of being a bitter and grudge-holding woman, I think it's fair to dismiss this as evidence because nothing I can see points to why Rebecca Nurse would kill Ann Putnam's kids. I have to agree. After reading this play and going over some of the things, I don't see a motive for Rebecca, Rebecca Nurse to attack Ann Putnam's kids. Our final accusation was that Martha Giles used witchcraft to murder Farmer Walcott's pigs. Now it's Walcott's for, for not feeding them, but he did buy the pigs from the Giles family. So in a weird way, I can see where he's coming from because every pig 
he's gotten from them would die after a month of him buying them. In conclusion, I think it's easy to tell what side we're on. Yeah, in my opinion, is evidence used against them isn't good enough to imprison these people. Thanks for listening along, and hopefully this cleared things up for you.